Yo. My dude. I'm fired hey, up. I got a serious question for you. Yeah. What is your favorite nut? Like if you like are eating like, you know, mixed mixed nuts, you know, like as a snack. What's your favorite nut? I'm just curious. What's your go-to? Cashew, almond, peanut, pistachio? What's, no. what's your favorite? Handful. That's my favorite nut. A handful of mixed. No, that's a cop out. Give it's me not a cop like, out. What's that's your how favorite? I like it. What's I your favorite one? In there. I don't reach in there and pick them out. I like, I, I genuinely, so like my family and Erica thinks it's gross, but like I'm generally, I mix or dip things. It's like a, like I love, like I'll dip. Uh, like the first thing that popped in my head is dipping uh, graham crackers in coffee. Like it makes them soggy, delicious, sucks in the coffee. Like it, that to me is delicious. Why that popped in my head? No idea. But I'm generally a mixer, corn and mashed potatoes. You put those on my plate, mm. mix rice and beans. I'm mixing. So I, I tend to typically uh, overcomplicate to me. I, I enjoy it. I like to mix groups of friends. I'm just a mixer. So a bag of mixed nuts is much more appealing to me than say a bag of cashews or almonds because of the nature of the handful being a mixed bag. Some people call me a connector. Some people say I like to connect people, right? So I, I just like to mix things together. I don't like to single people or nuts out. I prefer the handful. So there is, it's not a cop out. It's actually a very well thought out. Uh, okay. 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 But thing. if you had to choose one individual nut that you would eat for the rest of your life, which one would it be? For the rest of my life? Yeah. If there's Sounds one terrible, I don't one. know. Probably if I had to pick, uh, probably almonds. Almonds. Yeah. Cause you can cover them in chocolate. Again, I'm mixing. See, I can't help myself. <laughs> like almond chocolate covered almonds delicious peanuts they're okay almonds delicious so we're here to talk about now that we've not, lost all of our listeners who don't even they probably have a nut allergy uh are gonna accuse us of being insane. i heard i heard you were, he had a, a a huge mix of of Dude. neighbor kids oh, wow at, that, at your, that worked out well you like that, that? i did not anticipate that good transition like that. right that was a great transition Dude, what I'm fired up about, and this is this is an encouragement, this is a an admonition, this is this is whatever you want to take this as, because I know it works. I've seen it. It is amazing. Uh, so we had this jank town, like hand me down. Like I don't even think it was a hand me down basketball hoop. I think it was a basketball hoop that a dude had. That's like, dude, if 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 I can get rid, of, like if I can get this out of my yard, and into somebody else's, like I win, and he won. Um, in all joke, all joking aside, thank you very much. Uh, my neighbor was very generous to, to, to lend it to us, but, but it was like jank town, dude, thing always blew down in the wind, small backboard is bent. It, was, it just wasn't very good. Right. But my kids played on it and I didn't really think much of it. I didn't think it was a big deal. I started noticing them going up the street to play basketball at a neighbor's house and, and not necessarily with friends that they hang out with quite a bit. Actually, they don't really hang out with them at all. Um, the basketball hoop was the key. And so this weekend, and I just want to get my kids something a little nicer anyways, and something adjustable because I got, you know, kindergartners up to sixth grade. And so I bought a a nicer basketball hoop, um, put it together Sunday, and immediately dude, the kids loved it, loved it. And they they set it at a lower setting, which they all, the bigger kids even wanted to do that. They Whatever, they have fun doing it. Like they slam um, dunk on it? I don't think they're challenging themselves enough, but that's fine, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, I was I was draining them in that yesterday, and I was crushing my kids in the in the cul de sac. Point being, we bought this thing, put it together. Kids, my kids loved it. Yesterday was the first day that it was out. Um, I drove home, and, and uh, there were like eight kids in front of my house playing on this basketball hoop, dude. Eight kids, and a lot of the kids were not kids that were you know they came down the street just to play with each other on this basketball hoop. And and it just hit me that, you know, I have this desire. We I call them honey pots, whatever. You know, I I have this desire to make our house like, you know, extremely fun, a place where kids want to be. Um, so you know, I really want, you know, you and I have to 
start making some money because I really want to put a pool in my house and it has nothing to do with status, has nothing to do with anything around any of that stuff that I just quite honestly don't care about any of that. What I care about is that you put something awesome in front of the house and kids come and they, they, they're together doing that thing. Um, but it also is just, it's a, it's a place where they gather and you now have the ability to influence. And this isn't me trying to, you know, uh, keep my kids out of the streets and it's this controlling thing. I want to create activities. I didn't even play with those kids. I saw them. I'm like, that's awesome. They asked me to play. I'm like, no, you guys keep crushing. It's awesome. I'm going to go inside. I just want to watch you guys. But, but what it boils down to is creating the environment being very intentional and putting in your vision that you have an environment where, where it attracts these kids to come and they do their thing, you know, in the vicinity of where you are, again, more from the perspective of being able to pour into them and invest in them and to love on them, uh, to, to show them hard things, to influence them, to have an impact and to create this place and to get them outside, dude. Like, in all honesty, these kids, so many kids are inside all the time. It just, I mean, I kick my kids out, but but they are always bugging to come inside. Yesterday, they played for hours before they started bugging, right? They started, they, they, they were out there just having fun. And that's what I want. That's what I want to create. And it was, it was beautiful, dude. Pulling into your house with, and having to stop because you're like, hey, kids, like, I'm right here. Like, you need to get out of the way so I don't run you over. Like, that many kids was just it, obviously I'm very excited about it. It brought me pure joy. Yeah, man, it's cool. It's 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 uh, it's cool to hear that such um, in the grand scheme of things, such a small investment could create such a difference and such an impact um, to your your entire neighborhood, right? To to your children uh, and to all the other kids around, you know, in your cul-de-sac in your neighborhood. That you know, just a new nice basketball hoop would, would do that. And, um, I didn't have the, the exact same experience, but, um, you know, we, we've been, my wife and I have been talking about just like being more intentional about inviting people over for dinner, right? Like we wanted, we wanted to start like hosting more people and having, being more social and having people over. You guys haven't been invited yet, but we invited, uh, my cousin Casey and Sue Ann over for a hangout. They, they live pretty close to us and yeah, he hit me up. He said he didn't really want to go, but he felt obligated. Oh, oh, oh gotcha. Well, so they they came over, man. Like I was like, "Hey, bring your bikes." Bring. He, uh, he got them a little like little electric scooter, motorcycle thing, and and Wells, my son, has a little electric four wheeler, and we live on a cul de sac. And dude, like they came over, and same thing. Like they were just out for hours playing outside, riding bikes, and like the other kids in the neighbor in our little cul de sac came out, and it was like a little like bicycle gang, man. Like they were just like zipping up and down up and down the street around the cul-de-sac like through the yard and like then the dogs came out and they were running around and like it was just freaking, it was awesome man and then we had a trampoline in the back and they all came and started jumping on the trampoline started playing games and then casey and i came we started jumping on the trampoline and like it, i mean it was just so fun and and uh and casey hit me up the next day he's like dude my kids can't stop talking about how much fun they had like it was so awesome let's let's do it again like let's go let's go hang out and like just that social interaction, man, just like, like you said, like creating the environment to where, you know, our, our children can have a place to just have fun and play and be outside. And, you know, oftentimes it doesn't take much, like it's, it's, it's a new basketball hoop or, or it's just an invite, like, Hey, come on over. Let's, let's make dinner together. Let's break bread and hang out and just being that, um, catalyst right being being the one who sends the invite being the one who makes a small investment uh to then you know change the trajectory of of, of a neighborhood like it's it's pretty rad man it's pretty rad yeah dude i love it and and, and you nailed it right anybody can do it um it, it just requires some intentionality and, and maybe there's, I mean, dude, people are going to say no, right? Like people are going to say, no, I got plans, whatever. Like it, it's fine. Just keep, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. And and I'll tell you, there's nothing more rewarding. We talked about it on a podcast earlier today. Like I feel like my life is so rich and a lot of it is yes. My family's a big part of that, 
But really a big part, a, a huge part of that is my friends, man. My, my relationships with other men, with other dads, uh, those, it's so meaningful to be able to have a best friend, right? A brother, um, like Matt, Matt's it, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like you and, and, and dudes like Matt and, and just to, but to, to have genuine deep relationships with dudes that I no kidding love and I want to spend time with, and I, and I make time to, 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 to do these things and I make efforts to, to spend time with each other. Uh, those things are like, it, it makes for a rich life, dude. It's yeah. not, and I don't think about, you know, I don't think about how much it costs or what fancy restaurant we can go to or what car you drive or, or, you know, like those things are so, they're so inconsequential, man. They, they really are. And to be able to have, I mean, I have a vision to have, I don't know how many kids are in the neighborhood. Maybe it's 30, maybe it's 60. I don't know how many it is, but all of them, all of them are out front playing and interacting and learning how to be human beings and, and, and getting life skills together. And, and I just am observing it, right? I inject where needed because we want to make an impact or an influence, but ultimately you create these environments and you just watch people thrive. Like that, that is just, and that's what the mastermind is all about too, right? It, it, you, yeah. I give you and I credit for anything. It's not that we're great coaches. It's not that we're great, you know, orders or we have any kind of particular skill. We created an environment where men could have an experience because we knew that those men would bring the experience and we'd all grow. Like that's the point. Create the environment, whatever that is, figure out what it is that you want, the environment you want to create do something about it and just watch what happens. It's magical. Yeah, man. Good stuff. You yeah, like buddy. it. Giddy up. So when, uh, when you get that pool in the backyard so I can come take my kids over and swim. When you give me a 0% interest on money that you're lending me that you never expect me to pay you back. <laughs> oh, that sounds like an amazing deal. I'm in. I mean, you want to, you want to come swim? There you go. There you go. Sounds like a great idea. Let's, let's make it I love it. I think it's a great idea. I love it. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. See you.